All right, hey, Professor Klein here in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And today I wanna to show you a video on the uterus models. All right, so first up with these models, let's actually go over to here real quick. There's another video on this one out, but I just wanna show you that this uterus and these uterine tubes to the ovaries, if you were to pull that out and put it right here as a frontal cross section, this is what you would have. Now this is showing the uterus, which is this structure right here the vagina, uterine tube coming out to the ovaries. Now what you'll notice is that it's showing the sperm traveling into here. So let's actually do it in the same pathway that the egg and the sperm would meet. So first off, the vagina is down here, vaginal tube. And here you have the cervix, this whole area especially as it pushes into the vagina. But inside you have the cervical canal, this canal part. Notice how it's a lot more narrow than if we come up to the body of the uterus, this part here, and the uterine cavity. Much more space in the uterine cavity. What's this bump on top, you ask? That's the fundus of the uterus. Fundus of the uterus. Now, Sperm would be going either right or either left down the uterine tube, AKA the fallopian tube. This first section of the uterine tube is called the isthmus. This is the isthmus right here. And as soon as you take this hook turn, it becomes the ampulla. This portion is the ampulla right here. Then you get to the infundibulum, infundibulum, this final part of the uterine tube with these finger-like projections that surround the ovary called fimbrae. Fimbrae right here, part of the infundibulum. Now notice the ovary, it's been cut open over here. I'll come over here and notice that it's got the full ovary with the ovarian ligament coming up to the uterus itself. This is the ovarian ligament holding the ovary to the uterus itself. But come back over here and you can see a lot of different structures within the ovary itself. Here's a picture of the histology of the ovary. And notice you've got things like the primordial follicles, primary follicle, secondary follicle, graffinian follicle and eventually it can become the corpus luteum or the corpus albican. after the egg or the ovum has been released. So here it is. Here's that egg traveling up and typically the most common site for fertilization of the sperm to the egg is in the ampulla. That's where the sperm and egg most often meet. That's fertilization, but it takes about five, six, seven days for that to work on over here and implant itself into the endometrium. We didn't mention the layers here, let's mention them now. The endometrium is this most deep layer. Notice how it's a different color than the myometrium, this muscular layer, myometrium here. Perimetrium would be the outside layer, the most superficial layer, so you got three layers, power of three layers of the uterus. So that egg that's fertilized would implant 
into the uterus and that's where it begins to develop. All right, over here we've got the same structures. This is more of a diseased model though. It's got a lot of different medical conditions within it that you would not want to see on the uterus. Same things though, we got the vagina coming up. We've got the cervix going into the body of the uterus, traveling over to the uterine tube, coming over to the actual ovary itself. So a couple things you can note, things like ovarian cysts, ovarian cysts. What's cool on this model is you can actually see the suspensory ligament, something you couldn't see on the other one, suspensory ligament, which would come up this way versus the ovarian ligament right here. Anytime you see some purple, you got some purple over here, purple down here, that's endometriosis. Anything that looks like this white structures here or up here, carcinoma. Another tumor type inside right here. or cancerous type structures in the actual ovary itself. A lot of medical conditions related to the female reproductive system. All right, that has been your video on the uterus models. I'm Professor Klein. This is a human anatomy lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching.